there once was a pest controller who was not like the other pest controllers. In a world where termites outweigh humans, he became so obsessed with termites that he became the Termite Tracker. Hi, John from the Termite Trackers here again. Now, one of the questions that I commonly get is, can white ants and black ants live together? See, most people say to me, well, I've got black ants around and I wouldn't have any white ants. Now, bearing in mind that uh, white ants and black ants are two completely different families, that white ants, or well, termites as we know them, well, they're not really ants at all. And it is commonly known, and it's true, that the black ants are a predator of termites. But the reality is that they're not going to eradicate a colony. More often than not, whenever I do inspections, especially when it comes to things like landscaping timbers, if you've got timber sleepers lying around or other bits of wood lying around in your garden, even a tree stump, it's not uncommon for me to see normal ants and termites living in it together. Well, often they're just too busy doing their own thing. They're just like people in a way. Sometimes we just get distracted, we're doing our own thing. We're not really worried about what the next person's doing, but there are other factors to consider. So often what we'll see is that if there is conflict between the termites and the ants, it's actually something that's minimal and localized. As you can see here, there are many ants running around and if you look in the background, we've got termites trying to find out what happened. Well, it was me that actually happened. I was doing an inspection looking for termites in a piece of timber and I found that there were both termites and ants in this little post. Now, as you can see, the termites are trying to re-establish their closed mud tubes. The ants have had a bit of a falling out with all the young larvae and so forth. They're also trying to deal with that situation. But by and large, the ants and the termites aren't worrying each other. And this is often what I found time and again. Yes, there's that one Nazutitermes that's copying a flogging from that ant, but the reality is that the majority of them are just trying to re-establish order when it comes to their normal daily operations. And so this is something that we've found very often when it comes to doing termite inspections. Termites and ants will often be living in the same piece of timber together and they aren't bothered with each other because they're not the primary targets. They're more interested in keeping their own colonies established and making sure that their colony is safe. Termite colonies can be incredibly large. Now when we think of that piece of timber or, or that particular stump that we've got in our garden that might have termites and black ants in it, well, the actual termite colony could be much bigger than the few termites that are running around in that log. For instance, termite colonies can go from half a million to a million termites strong for a really big colony. Thinking about that, if there is, say for instance, a few ants that eat a few termites, even if they were to really go all out and say they eat 20,000 termites, in the colony that's 500,000 to a million strong, what really is that percentage wise? Not very big at all. And termites aren't particularly sensitive when it comes to the loss of some of their mates or their family members. Remember that the most important thing for a termite colony is that the whole colony survives. So what does that mean? It means if they lose 20,000 termites, so what? They've got another half a million. They're not particularly emotional when it comes to that. The most important thing is that the colony survives, which means that they will send 20,000 termites to their death if it means that the rest of the colony is gonna get enough food. So keep that in mind when you're dealing with termites, and this is a really important part when it comes to termite treatments. Just because there's a few termites in one particular location doesn't mean that you're able to wipe out a whole colony without doing a proper treatment. If you grab a can of fly spray or something else and you treat a few termites, you're only gonna kill those few. There's a whole colony somewhere else, somewhere in your wall, somewhere in a tree stump, maybe in the neighbor's yard that you don't see, that you don't know where the rest of the colony is living. That's why it's really important that treatments be done properly. I'm John from the Termite Trackers, thanks for watching.